on today, for he's worthy of the praise, he's worthy of the honor, and he's worthy of the glory. Fountain of Life Ministries, where the pastor is Dr. James Strong. I'd like to welcome you to our virtual New Year's Eve celebration. 2020 has been a different year for all of us. So many things have transpired. We've lost so many of our loved ones. Uh, we've had to leave the building, the church building. We didn't leave the church, but we left the church building. And God, in his infinite wisdom, had already put in place a means for us to stay connected. We stayed connected as a church family. Some of us had parking lot services. Others had conference call services. So many different ways we connected. 
but God has yet sustained us. He's yet blessed us and brought us thus far in 2020. Now I look forward to 2021, where we know that God has greater things in store for us. We know that he has bigger, better, and greater. Hallelujah. He left us here. There was a reason why we are yet here. He left us alive for such a time as this. And tonight, we're just going to celebrate 2020. In spite of what went on in 2020, God has yet restored us. He's yet increased us. He's yet sustained us. And we're going into 2021 expecting great things, miracles, signs, and wonders. Hallelujah. God wants to use us to perform miracles, signs, and wonders in 2021. So we welcome you again to enjoy the celebration on tonight. God bless you. God keep you. Hello, everyone. My name is Jacoby Rice. I am the assistant pastor of the Fountain of Life Ministries. We would love to wish you a blessed and prosperous new year. And from my family to yours, we would love to say Happy New Year. And we pray that God continue to bless you and make your way prosperous. Lift up the name of the Lord, that he's worthy of the praise. We love to call your name is something we cannot explain. That happens when we proclaim your great name, your great name. We love to hey. call your name.
is the result of it. Hello, Fountain family and friends. It's, it's the, the Terrain, Terrain family. family. Our prayer for you is that you have a blessed and prosperous year. The Lord says in Isaiah 43 and 18, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Happy New Year! Say Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Oh, Fountain family! We bring you greetings from the Martin family and Jawas family. Hello, Fountain family and friends. This is Sister Sakina King. I just wanted to say and have a blessed and prosperous new year from my family to yours. From our family to yours, we're so thankful to be a part of the Fountain family, and we look forward to this year in celebration. There is so much more to come. Happy New Year! It's gonna be big, big, bad, Angels are warring for me. Angels are warring for me. When I pray unto the Father. Stop! 
it. Take this by force. Y'all got it now. Take it. Take this by force. In the name of the Lord. Take this by force. Don't be afraid. Take this by force. Step out and take. Take this by force. Speak the word of the Lord. Take this by force.
Good evening, my sisters and brothers. It's a blessing to be able to come to you once again, amen, to share the word of the Lord. God has been so good to us in the uh, year 2020, amen, and certainly we are closing in and moving into a new year, and I'm telling you I'm excited. I'm excited by the possibilities that God is, has in place for the body of Christ in 2021. 2020 was a, 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 an awesome year. I mean, a year that we encountered so many great uh, tragedies and so many downfalls. But you know what? Through it all, God kept us, amen. And I'm, I'm excited tonight. I'm excited tonight, amen. As we close out 2020 and go into 2021. And I got a word I want to share with you tonight that I think, amen, um, is really literally going to change your life. It comes from Philippians uh, chapter 3, uh, verses 12, 13, and 14. Look what the Word of God said. Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after that uh, I may apprehend, that for which also I have apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, Paul said, I count not myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Then he said, I press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I tell you, I want to share with you for a few minutes, amen, reaching forth to the prize. Reaching forth to the prize. You know, again, we encountered a lot of things in, amen, 2020. And, you know, uh, we realized that we maybe didn't achieve all that we wanted to achieve, praise God, in 2020. But let me tell you something. God is blessing us to go into a new year, a new area, amen, in which we uh, uh, have the ability to achieve those things that we did not achieve, praise God, in 2020. So Paul writes, Paul writes, he, he writes to the church at Philippi, and he encouraged the church, amen. He encouraged his church, amen, not to have confidence in themselves. You, if you're going to make it, praise God, into 2021, and I, I'm telling you, you made it in 2020 because you did not trust in your own ability. You did not trust in your own strength. You did not trust in your own knowledge. You trust in the grace and the favor of God. So Paul said, I don't want you to have confidence in your flesh. I do not want you to trust in your ability. But I want you to, amen, uh, find yourself reaching to a place in Christ Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Reach into a place in Christ Jesus. Paul said, now, I've gone through a lot of things. I've gone through a lot of things to get where I want to go. He said, amen, uh, he said in the upper part, he said, beware of dog, beware of work, or evil worker." Beware of consensus. Beware of those individuals that will have confidence in their flesh. 
Amen. He used two words here in the text tonight, if you will. He used obtain, amen. Then he used apprehended, amen. When you talk about obtain, it means to reach, achieve, or accomplish. Maybe you didn't achieve all that you want to achieve in 2020. But I got good news for you, sisters and brother. You have another opportunity. God's going to bless you and he's going to grace you, amen, to be able to go in 2021 and achieve those goals, amen, those things that you want to achieve. Then he used the word, praise God, apprehended. When you think about apprehended, it means to take in custody. It's almost like one being arrested, amen. The officer come and they take you in, in custody, mean, amen, uh, uh, that means they apprehended you. Paul said, now, I've got, I got goals. I got a mark I'm trying to hit in the Lord. Amen. And I have not gotten there yet. I have not attained. I have not accomplished my goal. Listen, sister and brother, I think, amen, all of us can say uh, that, you know, in 2020, we may not be able uh, or were able, if you will, to reach those things, those goals that God had given us to reach in 2020 because, amen, the pandemic hit us, praise the Lord. Uh, and then, uh, you know, we had uh, a lot of unrest, praise God, in, the, uh, in our country, uh, race, uh, uh, division, and what have you. Amen. Many things crept up in the 2020. But I'm telling you, God is still in control. Do you hear me in the night? God is still in control. Don't listen. Do not be. Do not be. Amen. Uh, fooled by the devil. The devil is not in control. Amen. God can shut him down any time he so get ready. Amen. He can shut him down. He can. He, he can just shut him down any time. So Paul said to us, Amen. We have not. He have not obtained. He said he had not reached what he wanted to. Do. He have not apprehended. Praise God. And and he realized that. He needed God, amen, strength and God's grace and God's power to be able to get where he needed to get in the Lord. Can I suggest to you tonight, sister and brother, uh, the Bible lets us know in, in uh, 1 John 1 and 12, but as many as receive him, as many as receive Christ, to him give he power to become the Son of God, even to them that believe on his name. God going to give us power. Amen, to be able to get where we need to go. God going to give us power to be able to accomplish those things, amen, that uh, he has purpose for us to accomplish. Now, Paul said to us also, he said, now what I'm going to do, amen, I'm, I'm going to forget about, listen, I, I, and, I, and I know it's in your memory bank. I know it's in your memory bank and you can't, you, you, you know, you just can't erase it all. But uh, in other words, Paul had come to a place in his life that, he was not going to allow, amen, those things that he, that, that he encountered to stop him from reaching his goal in serving God and, and, and being the servant of God, being the apostle of God that called him to be. And I want to tell you tonight, sister and brother, don't allow your past to stop, amen, your future. Do not allow your past, amen, to stop your future. Do not allow your past, amen, to hinder your destiny. And so Paul said, Amen. He's reaching forward unto those things. He forgetting. He forgetting those things. He forgetting. He forgetting all those accomplishments. Amen. That that he had in his past life. He forgetting. Praise God. That he sat at the at the foot of Gamil and was taught the law and he was a Pharisee. The Pharisee. Amen. He forgetting all those things. And 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 in many circles, praise God, those were great achievement and those things people value very high. But Paul said, I've come to a part a point in my life that I'm not going to allow these things, praise God, amen, to hinder me from moving forward. Yes, 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 listen, you may, you may have great achievement when you were not in Christ Jesus, praise God. But listen, you can't look back at your past, amen, and go forward. You got to forget about your past and go forward. Listen, I know we, we encountered a lot of things in 2020, praise God, but we got to forget about those things. We got, to, we, got to, we got to put them to the side and we got to look forward into 2021. And we got to say in 2021, there's great advancement in the kingdom of God in 2021. And so Paul said, I reach forward to those things. 
<coughs> what you're reaching for, Paul. I'm, Paul says, I'm reaching a man to be able, a man to, get, to be grace more in the power of God. Can I tell you, without the grace of God, <coughs> we cannot make it. Without the grace of God, you will not be successful in your doing. Sister and brother, listen. Uh, listen. I need more of the grace of God. I need more of the power of God. I need more of the anointing of God to be able to carry out the, the, the task and the mission that God has given me, amen, to carry out. And so I, I, I'm putting, I'm forgetting anything that would hinder me from going forward. <coughs> Hear me good tonight. Anything would hinder you from going forward. Anything would hinder you, amen, for accomplishing your goal and your divine destined purpose in God. Forget about those things. And put forth your energy this year. Put forth your energy in 2021, amen, to go higher in your Lord. Put forth your energy in 2021, amen, that you may accomplish great things. Amen. They that love that know that God shall do exploit. And this year we, I'm telling you, in 2021, is waiting on you. It's waiting on me. Amen. It's waiting on me to go higher. It's waiting on me, praise God, to do something great in 2021. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. And so Paul said, what I'm going to do, I'm going to press. I'm going to press towards the mark. I, he says, it's a prize that I'm trying to get to. It's a prize, it's a prize, it's a prize. I'm trying to, amen, to get to a point, praise God, wherein I can have that relationship with Christ, amen, so intimate relationship with Christ, amen, that, I, that even as Adam had, the Bible said when Adam fell in the garden, a man, he broke his relationship with God. And, and God coming through in the cool of the day, him and Adam would always commune together. But on this day, praise God, Adam hid himself from God. Because why? The relationship had been broken. And God said to him, what the Adam? Call out to him. And Adam had hid himself because he had disobeyed God. Sister and brother, listen. I want that relationship with God where we can commune together. When God calls my name, I can answer. When God, amen, speak, I can hear. So, hallelujah. So Paul said, I'm pressing. And I'm telling you, let's press, amen, out of 2021. In, out of 2020, into 2021. Let's press out of the pandemic, praise God, and press into a new year in 2021. If I be a man of God, I want to say the night to you, my sister and brother, amen, 2021 is going to present great advancement in the kingdom of God. Amen. Great is coming. So we are reaching forward, praise God, to a greater, great advancement. When you talk about advancement, amen, increase, praise God. Possibilities, amen, are going to come our way. And so as I close tonight, sister and brother, I just want to encourage you. If we go into 2021, what a great opportunity. This is the greatest opportunity in the body of Christ that we ever had. Because what? It shows, praise God, during this time, amen, even though chaotic situations are going all around us, praise God, problems here and problems there, but we are still standing. We are standing on the promises of God. We are still standing in faith. Hebrew 11 once said, now faith. It's a something thing, hope for the thing not seen. We don't see all the possibilities, but we believe God got some good things in store for us. And I want to challenge you tonight as we go into 2021. Believe God for bigger, better, and greater. Believe God. Believe God. Oh, I feel this in my Holy Spirit. My sanctified soul. Believe God for greatness, sister and brother. Believe God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, my God. God is getting ready to do some things. God is getting ready, amen, to pour out his spirit upon the, up the earth rim in the kingdom of God. Now, you got to be in the kingdom to get it. So I'm inviting you tonight. If you don't know Jesus, accept him as your Lord and say, accept him as your Savior. Accept him. And invite him into your life. Say, Lord, come into my life, God. I realize, Lord, I have not done what I'm supposed to do. But, Lord, will you forgive me? That's what Paul said. Lord, I'm, I'm forgetting those behind me. 
I'm pressing towards the mark of the high calling. The prize is a prize. I'm trying to get to the prize. Hello, somebody. And the prize is eternal life, sisters and brothers. That's the prize. That's the ultimate prize is that we receive eternal life. And I want to say to you, this is your best years ahead of you. I know you come out of 2020 and things wasn't so good, but your best year, your best year is ahead of you. And I decree tonight, as we close out, I decree that your best year is ahead of you. Reach forward. Reach forward. Reach, reach, reach. Reach forward. Don't, don't look back. Reach forward for the prize. There's a prize waiting on you. Uh, you know, uh, oh, thank you to sing a song. I believe I run on. See what the end going to be. Something good is waiting on me at the end. It is. I believe that. And I think it's going to happen for you. The angels start warring in the heavens. When I pray unto the Father. This is the result of it. It's going to be big, big better, big, great, great, big, big better, big, greater, great, oh, bigger, better, greater, great. what it has in store, bigger. He hears the righteous cry.